Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Taniksha channel. So students in this video we are going to see in detail about the mop up round in MCC counselling. Students, third round of counselling in MCC is called as mop up round. So we are going to see in this video who are eligible to participate. Suppose if you participate and a seat is allotted to you and whether it is compulsory uh, for you to join or not. So all these things and also the schedule of third round. So all these things we are going to see in this video. So students, if you are new to our channel, subscribe the channel and also share these videos with your friends. So now let us start. So students, before going into who is eligible to pa uh, participate in this round, first let us see the schedule. So students, you can see here. This is the third round schedule of MCC that is for all India quota. So students registration and payment starts from 3rd of October and it will be till 8th of October and then choice filling and locking. So choice filling will be from 5th of October to 8th of October and choice locking will be available from 4 p.m. of 8th October up to 11.55 p.m. of 8th October. And then finally the result will be announced on 11th of October and then reporting to the college will be from 12th of October to 18th of October. So students this is the detailed schedule of third round of counseling in MCC. So now let us see who is eligible to participate in third round. So first fresh registration. So meaning is students. You did not participate in first round or you did not participate in second round. So then you can make fresh registration and you can participate in this third round. So students, you first round or second round you participate in So you MCC counseling you participate in third round you participate in third round. fresh registration you participate in So students, for fresh registration, you have to pay security deposit. So for category, it will be uh, 5,000 and for unreserved, it will be 10,000. And if you are participating for deemed university, it will be 2,5,000. And then second, round one seat allotted and not joined. So students, in round one, you participated and seat was allotted to you, but you did not join. So now whether you can participate, yes, you can participate in the third round. Then third, round one seat allotted, joined and then resigned. So students in round one, seat was allotted to you, you went to the college, you joined and then again you resigned. So now whether you are eligible to participate, answer is yes, you can participate in third round. Next. Round 1 seat allotted and you went for upgradation. So students in round 1 a seat was allotted to you. So in round 2 you went for the upgradation. So in round 2 so seat was upgraded. Meaning is in another college seat was allotted to you. So now whether you are eligible to participate in round 3. Answer is yes. Again you can participate in round 3 for upgradation. Suppose in round 2. Uh, if there is no upgradation, even then you can participate in round 3 for upgradation. Next. In round 2 seat allotted and then upgradation. So that is students you did not participate in round 1 or seat was not allotted to you in round 1. So you participated in round 2. So in round 2, seat was allotted to you. So now whether you can go for upgradation in round 3, answer is yes, you can go for upgradation in round 3. And then sixth option is round 2, seat not allotted. So you participated in round 2, but seat was not allotted to you. So whether you can participate in round 3, answer is yes, you can participate in round 3. Then seventh option is round 2, seat allotted but not joined so in round two you participated for the counseling seat was allotted to you but you did not join so a you exited with four feature of security deposit so now you can uh, register once again pay the security deposit 
and again you can participate in counseling so all the students are eligible to participate in the third round of counseling so now students see here so what is given in mcc bulletin round 3 fresh registration or choice filling for round 3 round 2 choices will be treated as null and void so students in round 2 if you have made any choices that will be treated as null and void meaning is that choices will not be considered you can make fresh choices in the round 3 so now see here round 3 seat allotted if a seat is allotted to you what are the choices in front of you so the choices in front of you is you can go and join the allotted college so if a seat is upgraded then also you can go and join the college and here seat allotted does not join so see this yellow box exit with four feature and elimination this is one important point students exit with four feature meaning is your security deposit will be lost so you will lose your security deposit and also you will be eliminated from mcc counseling meaning is you cannot participate in the fourth round so fourth round is called as stray vacancy round so you cannot participate in fourth round of counseling in the mcc you will be eliminated from mcc counseling cannot participate in further rounds of counseling suppose if a seat is not allotted to you then you can participate in the fourth round which is called as stray round so eligible for the stray round so students this is very important you have to keep in mind suppose if a seat is allotted to you and if you don't take that seat then you will be eliminated from the mcc counseling that is you cannot participate in the fourth round and also you will lose your security deposit so students this is all about the third round of counseling so this is regarding all india quota mcc counseling so students i hope it is clear to you so if you are participating in mcc counseling all the very best students and also comment in the comment section whether if you are participating in the third round all the very best students